Hello and welcome to the Battlefield Top Plays. We've got some awesome clips today to show off. Thanks for Gamers Community for sponsoring this episode as always. Let's get right into the clips. Kicking us off at number one, Battlefield 4 Operation Locker Smoke Combo with the Ace-23 from Damsil, taking out a lot of the enemy team. A very nice streak in a short space of time. Now, as the name of this episode suggests, Damsil's going to get himself banned. Now, he only gets banned because he's too good for the admin. That's what I think's happened here. He's using a bit of teabagging techniques to get through the enemy team, but it doesn't really matter. He knows exactly what's going to happen if he kills too many of the admin. People are not happy in the chat, but to be honest, I'm not happy watching it because admins that ban players for being good deserve to get banned themselves and shouldn't be admins. It's just wrong. I understand when people stack teams and maybe the game's not fun for people to play or maybe this guy's just so damn good that he's ruining the experience for everybody. I kind of get that and maybe the admin could be like, listen, dude, finish this game and then could you move on because we just can't deal with it. But if you've got your server settings not set to noobs only or a KD limit or something like that, you can't really then just ban people when they go on kill streaks. He does get banned in the end. That's a shame. Moving over, we have another Battlefield 4 clip sent in from Good Headmate. He's going to be playing on Lumfini Garden. I don't think we've ever had a clip from Lumfini Garden sent in. This one's really, really cool. I'll let it run in the background. An awesome infantry clip. Get me on the flank, bro. Holy shit, there's so many. Oh, I'm with you, hello. Are you going for him or not? There's so many on the mini map though. Be careful. Enders is next up. I've got a couple of clips sent in from him. This one was sent in a while ago, but I never really featured it. But I've remembered to now. Battlefield 4. Two helicopters in the sky. Both of them get taken down in quick succession with the RPG. Really awesome stuff. And true only in Battlefield moments right there. The second one is over on Battlefield 1. He's using the LMG 08-18 low weight. Ripping through the enemy team, as you'd expect him to do. A player of his quality on Saritzin in this central cathedral. Next up, a clip sent in from Umar Kings. This one is awesome, Battlefield 1, and look at the range he's getting with this Ross Mark III marksman. Dinking enemies at incredible range, and he hits them all in a row, racking up 2,000 points in the process. Oh my god. Oh my god. Next up, we've got a clip sent in from Thunder. BF1 again with the Fedorov Aftermath Trench. This one is very fun to watch if you're a fan of infantry on Battlefield 1 as he controls this house and picks up a lot of kills whilst doing so. First stage, get past up. Another Battlefield 1 clip, but we will be moving back over to some BF4 soon enough. This one's from Cubic as he pulls off a very nice long range shot with the General Lou rifle. 
And next up, Alfoil is going to be pulling off a quick streak with the SMLE Mark III Marksman on a game of what looks like front lines on Monty Grappa. He's doing a great job, though, firing through the smoke, taking out most of the campers at the top of that hill. Big or not is coming in with a BF1 clip. This one is very fun to watch. He's using the Obrez, pulling off a nice collat to start the clip off, and then rinsing the enemy team for all they're worth, getting five kills with four shots, and then finishing up with the knife kill. Shame he didn't get six kills with five shots with the Obrez. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Nonetheless, five with four is still damn impressive. Moving over to Battlefield 4. J-H-K-J, I think your name is. Easy to pronounce that one. He's playing on Operation Locker, looking to push the enemy team out of their hiding spots, playing on TDM as well. Not as easy to play TDM and pull off these little back rage clips, in my opinion, because on Conquest, people congregate a lot more freely. Same with Rush. With TDM, it's rare to see them do this sort of thing. Nonetheless, you've seen it right here as they all clump up by the doorway and he gets a lot of kills in a short space of time. Finishing up today, we have a Battlefield 4 clip on Paracel Storm sent in from AA Ernie. It's not something you see every day, but it's just pure satisfaction from my point of view as an AA gun gets exactly what's coming to him. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like down below, and I'll catch you in the next episode.